Recently, I have noticed that there are more and more buildings with comfortable environments in the city. When I walk into these buildings, I feel good physically and mentally. What makes them different from the others? Those buildings have integrated green interior design and practices to create a more comfortable living space. Do you know that, according to statistics, we spend almost 90% of our time indoors? Whether it's at home, offices, schools, shopping malls, etc. By enhancing the quality of the indoor environment and adopting healthy habits, we can gradually improve our health and well being. To elevate the quality of the indoor spaces, Beam Plus will be an excellent choice. In addition to new and existing buildings, the Beam Plus assessment tools also cover the assessments for interior spaces. It encourages the public to implement decarbonization and reduce environmental impact during interior fit-out, renovation, and refurbishment works. You mean Beam Plus interiors? Could you share more with me? No problem. Since the initial launch of Beam Plus interiors in 2013, Beam Society Limited has recently launched Beam Plus Interiors version 2.0 in November 2023. The upgraded version is designed based on four key principles. Adaptability, simplification, certainty, and human-centric. It includes two assessment types, namely Beam Plus Interiors version 2.0, non-residential, and Beam Plus Interiors version 2.0, residential. The methodology has been extended to cover residential areas, allowing all stakeholders and households in the community to participate. Great! Green design can even be incorporated into residential units. Absolutely. Whether it's a residential unit or an indoor space for non-residential purposes, the assessment follows these criteria. First, Integrated Design and Construction Management, IDCM, focuses on integrating design and operations to achieve a green living environment in interiors. Second, Materials and Waste, MW, encourages the efficient use of resources, green materials, and supplies, minimizing the waste generated by interior renovations. Third, Energy Use, EU, focuses on reducing energy consumption in interior spaces and encourages the use of highly energy-efficient appliances and facilities. Next, Water Use, WU, promotes water conservation and encourages the use of plastic-free water dispensers in indoor spaces. Then, Health and Well-Being, HWB, addresses the quality of the living environment for you, me, and everyone else, and pursues green design with a human-centered approach. Finally, Innovations and Additions, IA, acknowledges credits that adopt innovative ideas and technologies in interior design. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention that there is an additional indicator for non-residential units, Management, MAN. This specifically focuses on the management system of interiors to achieve sustainability objectives. The assessment criteria are so comprehensive. What kinds of ratings will be awarded to the projects after completing the assessment? The Hong Kong Green Building Council, HKGBC, will award certificates to projects that fulfill the required performance criteria. Beam Plus Interiors offers four ratings, namely Platinum, Gold, Silver, and Bronze to non-residential projects, while residential projects will be awarded Green Plus or Green. I've also learned that with the development of green and sustainable finance, more and more projects are participating in the Beam Plus assessment, implementing green initiatives and demonstrating their commitment to promoting sustainable development and achieving the Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs, of United Nations and Environmental, Social and Governance, ESG objectives. Yes, buildings are where we spend most of our daily life, and our health and well-being are closely tied to the indoor environmental quality. Let's work together to create a more sustainable, low-carbon, healthy, and livable environment.